This is me telling you I took a walk to the store just in case I don't make it back. Sorry for the sound of the washing machine in the background. It's extremely loud. Should be stopping anytime soon. I had every intention of today being a spring cleaning day and this being a spring cleaning vlog, but frankly, I am having a rough time finding any motivation to do that. So I think today instead, because I really don't even have motivation to do my work or really anything. So I think today instead is going to be a self-care day. Self-care looks a little different for me than it does for most. I'm not going to be taking a bubble bath. I'm not going to be doing skincare. And you, you all know I don't wear makeup or really do that much skincare. So even if I did consider that self-care, there's really not much to do. So I think I'm just going to do everything I enjoy and um, just laze around a little bit today. I just don't have the motivation and I don't know if it's because spring has started and I, I don't want to be in the house and I don't have a car so I can't go anywhere or if it's just that <clears throat> you know I finally have a pretty calm week and my brain and my body are just like okay take time off I don't know if that's it or not but the point is is I don't have the motivation and there it goes now it's quieting down <laughs> so yeah that's my plan for today I'm just gonna it's 10 o'clock in the morning now I had breakfast I did the laundry, or put one load of laundry in, and I emptied the dishwasher, and that was basically all of my motivation. That After that, I was just out. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm just going to bring you along while I do some self-care relaxation. I know my last vlog was about re rest and relaxation, but I just apparently need it right now. So I hope you enjoy it, and let me know what you guys do when you have this problem where you don't have much motivation. And if you have a self-care routine or if you consider self-care just relaxing and doing what you enjoy, let me know, I'd be interested in hearing. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I think I'm going to, the only work I'm gonna do today is I'm going to rough cut my vlog. That's the only work I'm gonna do. Aside from, you know, like checking emails when my office hours come and stuff, just to be sure that there's nothing pressing. Um, but I also have a nice big long list of things I consider self-care that I'm gonna try to do most of um and I think I think we're gonna start with I was gonna say start with watching vlogs but I kind of want to make sure I have vlogs to watch later during my night routine like I usually do and being Thursday not a lot of people post new vlogs today so I think that will hold off until later I think that means it's a reading time so we're gonna start with a reading, which is great. I think what I'm gonna do as I go through the day is I'm gonna read a couple of, uh, you know, like 
two times during the day and then my normal time at night. And I think I'm going to read a little of a different book for each period that I read. I'm still reading The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Really messing me up. If you have ever read that book, let me know what you thought because it's really messing me up with just how, I don't know, just crazy the whole concept is. And I, it's hard to explain without giving spoilers. Um, so spoiler alert, if you want to uh, skip this part, I'll put a little timestamp up here for you to skip to. But in the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, the main character, who we really don't know who it is, hops between different bodies of the people in this, I don't, can't remember if it's a mansion or what it is, but to try to solve a murder. And that's the only way that they can get out is if they solve the murder. And there's like other people also playing the game. You're constantly like bouncing between bodies. It's just really messing me up, quite frankly. It's just, it's interesting, but all the little intricacies and stuff just really just messing with my mind. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it um, when I'm done. So I'm going to read that and I'm also going to maybe listen to some of the audiobook which I could listen to some of the audiobook as I do other things so it might actually be four books today we'll see and then I'm also going to read a fantasy because I'm just in the fantasy interest right now not sure which one yet I haven't decided and I'm also going to start another non-fiction because I've been wanting to read more non-fiction and I have kind of been slacking on it. So we're going to start another nonfiction. So yeah, I'm going to grab a book and I'm going to get reading. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit and let you know how this self-care day is going. Actually, before I do that, I realized I never said, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Genevieve. I am 35 and all of the interesting things about me can be found in the description or in my bio. Uh, I am a book writer, book editor, personal assistant, cat mom, and introvert, and my channel is just all about my complicated life. It's 11 o'clock and I've read about three more chapters of this. Still really messing with my head, <laughs> but it's still really good. So I can't wait to see what happens. I don't even know if I understand the book, but it's so good. However, being that it's kind of like springy today and like the spring candle and spring uh, ambiance on TV and stuff, I'm kind of feeling that I want to read a romance instead. So I'm going to stop reading this one and go and find a romance book to read. I don't know which one. Um, I'm not going to eliminate the fantasy right now because I might have time to read that as well. So I'm going to go and see what I can find for a romance book and let me take you guys with me. So that was a good hour. I really enjoyed just sitting and reading and not having any obligations, although technically I still have the obligations. It's just that I wasn't paying attention to any of them. I went over there thinking, like, I have books over there? No, I don't. Not once I haven't read anyway. I have books I've worked on with clients, but I've read all of those, so. 
I think these are all fantasies, non-fictions, mysteries. I'm not really feeling YA right now. I kind of want an adult romance. Unfortunately, I have a lot of YA books. <laughs> These, I think I've read all of these. So, that's the book that's on the top. No, that's the one we got for Christmas. Oh, come on. Not ready for you yet. Let's try this one, I guess. It's still paranormal, but it's romance. We will try that one. We'll put this one back because I'm not ready for this one yet. <laughs> I don't actually have a lot of romance. I think it's because I tend to read romance on ebook, um, especially when I had Kindle Unlimited. I wish I could afford that again, but uh, yeah, not really affordable right now. It's only nine ninety nine a month, so it's really not that bad. It's just my situation is not fantastic, and it it sucks. But so yeah, Amazon, if you're listening, which I doubt you are, but if you are sponsorship or free Kindle Unlimited. I'll take that. I don't care because um, I really want it back. So I'm going to sit down and read some of this for like another hour and then it'll be lunchtime, which I cannot wait because I am making one of my favorite recipes and I'm just so looking forward to it. It doesn't match the color scheme that I was going for before, but oh well, it's all I've got. I think I'm going to find a different ambiance um, just because I feel like it needs you need a different ambiance for each book. So gotta figure out what I did with the remote. <laughs> I can't reach it. I got it. Whoops, I dropped the other one in the process. Cozy spring lake ambiance with relaxing forest bird song. No, I need music. Smooth jazz. <sighs> I don't really know if jazz works for romance happy spring morning and sweet piano jazz why is it all jazz i guess that one's calm enough to work for romance let's let's try that one good it's funny it's kind of like a rom-com kind of thing and it's also a grumpy sunshine which i love the only two things is his name is boston mcnamara and i'm sorry but that is just too weird of a name <laughs> it, i think it, there's a reason for it because it is mentioned a couple of times in the book already but it's just such a weird name it's hard to get behind but on the other hand it is good to see something that is not you know the same usual john bob etc uh, and the other thing is, is apparently this must have been a used book that I got from somewhere that I don't remember doing because it's not in the greatest condition. So there's been a couple issues with some of the pages and it's all like yellowed and it smells musty. But for right now, we're going to cover up the smell with lunch. I am making the uh, peanut butter chicken rice dish that I made quite a while ago now. I'm um, not even sure which vlog that was, but I'll link it somewhere up in here if I can figure it out. Um, I will also link the recipe in the description. It is a HelloFresh recipe that I just take from the website and kind of change up on my own. Um, it's supposed to be a really spicy dish in the HelloFresh recipe, but I 
kind of dialed down the spiciness because of my acid reflux issues. Um, I still put some spiciness in it, but not quite as much as what they call for in the recipe. And also in the recipe, it says cucumber, but I use zucchini because just cucumber just doesn't, I don't know, just something doesn't mesh there by using cucumber. Feel free to use cucumber if you want, but I prefer to use either zucchini or squash in place of the cucumber. And uh, yeah, it takes a while to cook, so I'm just going to get going so I can cook and eat it and hopefully have some leftovers. I should have some leftovers. It's a pretty big dish. <laughs> They're tasty? Num nums? It's the only one you get. You'll get more at dinner. We're having chicken again, so. Is it num nums? Is it num nums? Yeah? You're a good boy. While I eat this lovely, delicious food, I am going to throw on a movie that I consider a comfort movie and enjoy that and enjoy this every last bite i know it doesn't look like much it looks kind of bad actually but it's so good if you are ever looking for a comfort meal this is definitely it <laughs>
I have so many dishes to do, so I'm gonna get those done now that the movie is over. And I was just thinking while I was watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Orlando Bloom must be rolling in money. Like, I didn't even consider the fact that he was in two major popular movie series. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean and Lord of the Rings. Like, those are two major series. He must be sitting pretty right now. Actors amaze me, quite frankly. I don't know how they do it. Because honestly, you look at Orlando Bloom playing Will Turner and you look at him playing Legolas and it's like two completely different. I mean, how is that the same actor? I It's insane. I At one point I was kind of like, oh, I want to be an actor kind of thing. But I don't think I have the talent for it. I mean, I can sort of act, but... Yikes, I don't think I could convince people I'm like several different people. So that is definitely not the career for me, but kudos to anybody who does it because that's talent. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon, which means there's not much more time of me having time to myself. So I think after I get the dishes done, I am gonna actually get brave, I think. Take you guys with me because that'll help me be brave. Um and take a walk in my area and take a walk down to Dunkin' Donuts and Rite Aid and treat myself to a couple of little small things. I don't have a lot of money, but I got about 20 bucks I can spend. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I chicken out, but first we gotta get these dishes done. So see you in a bit. I did so many dishes, my fingers are all pruney. I gotta ask you guys, is there certain things that you don't like the smell of when they're wet? because I cannot stand the smell of peanut butter when it's wet. It's one of the things I really hate about doing the dishes after that meal. I can't stand the smell of peanut butter when it's wet. Same thing with ranch. And there's another one, but I don't remember what the other one was. But I just, I hate doing dishes with peanut butter or ranch on them. Disgusting. I'd be curious to know if that's the same thing for you guys. Not necessarily those specific things, but if there's certain things that you can't stand the smell of when they're wet. Because, ugh. I am... Have some coffee and then I'm going to go and get some real pants on and grab my wallet and we'll take a walk got my wallet and we are good to go I am still gonna wear flip-flops regardless of the fact that it's not even 40 degrees outside because I am done with boots and sneakers I'm just done however I am going to grab a jacket because it's quite windy outside so it might actually be a little chilly so we're gonna use the wind jacket so we'll we don't uh, catch a cold, and I'm definitely not wearing winter jacket. So I'm going to see if I can go and get back in less than an hour. So wish me luck. Oh, and I better grab a bag because we are in New York, and we don't have plastic bags anymore. So if you don't bring a bag, you don't carry anything, or you carry it all in your hands, which it's not going to be easy to do considering what I'm planning on buying. Well, it's not really what I'm planning on buying. It's more what I'm planning on getting for myself. Oh, my mom just texted me a question I have to answer. So back in the kitchen we go. This is just a very random vlog. It's a self-care vlog, but it's just also a random day in my life. What else is new, right? Their crabish wants me to check the coupons. Because apparently she doesn't want chicken for dinner. This is a coupon book we got for Christmas. It's all in our area. And she wants me to check we have any Burger King coupons left. We've used quite a lot of them, so not sure. Even if we do have some left, we probably don't have any good ones left. Ah, oh, we have quite a bit left, actually. Free Whopper with the purchase of a Whopper, free original chicken with the purchase of an original chicken, free croissant, which gross, free original chicken and free croissant, which so we only have one free burger coupons so I'll let her know that because that's really the only one that we would use she would probably have the chicken but I would not so that's probably the only one we would use it's not expired right when do they expire anyway it doesn't say oh expires December of this year no okay so we're still good okay now we're gonna head out the door mischief you behave while I'm gone let me be back in a bit I'm not going too far okay you be good boy okay Let's go. Jeez.
very awkward about vlogging in public, so I thought I would do it while I'm not near anybody. But you can see this is my apartment complex. Nothing fancy. Matter of fact, it's kind of a dump. Um, and we're heading out. This is a private house, which is why there's a fence. But I'm um, heading out to the street here in New York Mills. Um, the street that we're going on isn't actually the street that's my address, so it's really weird because my apartment complex has two different entrances and only one of them is on the street that's the actual address for the complex. It's a very weird thing, but it's pretty much an issue every time we get like delivery or anything and sometimes even the package delivery people get confused. Oh, there's some flowers. All right, we're up on the road now, as you can hear. I was actually thinking there was gonna be more snow because we got snow last night, but it seems to have all melted. I don't really know how long of a walk this is. The internet said like a mile and a half. But I have a feeling it's more than that, so we'll have to check our numbers when we get back. This person still has Christmas lights or Christmas decorations on their porch. I'm loving the vibe. Keep hold of Christmas as long as you can, right? I really wanted to record while I was out and about because I want you guys to be able to see more of my area because I know every time I post me going out to like the stores and stuff, you guys enjoy it. So I wanted to kind of show you where I live, but I didn't know how to do that, you know, without feeling awkward or getting somebody in the video that didn't want to be. Some growth on the trees, which is nice. This is an uneven sidewalk, so I almost just fell on my ass. So instead of looking at the camera, I'm gonna look where I'm walking. There's a lot of car traffic today. Not so much foot traffic, because apparently I'm the only crazy one to walk out in this weather. But you can see based on the area why I am not too comfortable walking by myself. I wish I was, I wish it was a better area, but you know, you gotta be careful. It's not just nowadays, it's always been that way. It's just a lot more noticeable nowadays. Uh, I got some of the high schoolers on their run, track and field people. This is one of our local markets down the street from me. It's more like a mom and pop kind of place. One of the only ones still kind of in existence. Don't sell a lot. It's mostly like a meat counter and stuff like that. But it's it's very popular, so we're doing good business. I'm glad. So this is the really populated area that we're getting to now. We're getting closer to the store. You can see there's you know, houses and there's a bunch of cars and stuff coming, which is really awkward because I'm vlogging and everybody can see me vlogging. Absolutely love this house. Have always loved this house. But it never goes on sale. Not that we have the money, but. All right, my back is starting to hurt now, so I assume we've gone quite a ways. I'm actually surprised by how far I got so quickly. Um, but yeah, it's starting, starting to get sore, so definitely going to be a difficult walk back home. This is quite cold. <laughs> oh, it's invigorating. Doing something that I usually scared to do, so I'm proud of myself, but I don't think I'll do it too often. This is the road that my mom and I just dream of living on. Who wouldn't want to live on Royal Brook Lane? I try not to show too much of it because I don't want to show those houses, but this is it. I like the contrast of these trees over here, the white and green together. All right, we're coming up on Rite Aid, so I'll check in with you guys after I purchase what I'm purchasing. So some fun things for myself, just some self-care items. So I'll talk to you soon. 
I was gonna check my numbers before I went in because I had to catch my breath and apparently the fitness thing doesn't work if you're not wearing the watch. I thought it worked just with the phone. So I will see if I can set like a workout start time thing when I leave and then let's just double that to see what the numbers are. My hands have gotten so dry from this walk, it's insane. Add to that all the dishes I just did. Definitely have to put on some lotion when I get home. So let's head into Rite Aid and see what we can get for ourselves. I thought maybe I'd get myself some nails. But these prices are insane. This is crazy. Because I'd also have to get glue, because obviously they don't come with glue. The natural ones are cheaper. I could always paint them. But you know what, I have colored ones at home, so what's the point of that? I wanted to get fancy ones. A lighter fit, those are nice. Didn't really want pink, but... Let's see, but now are those too wide? Those look too wide. I'm in here, in here, 30. No, I could adjust. Let's see what else we find. I'm the only person in the store, and I know that the employees are watching me. And oops, that was loud. Those are way too expensive, although that sounds like it would smell good. Chasing butterflies. Mm, it smells like summer. Come back for that one if it's summer, but not for the spring. I think I'll get the orange vanilla dreamsicle. The only thing I don't like about this kind is there's no top, but I think I can fashion something because I think we have um, some tops from when we were going to do crafts, so I think I can figure that out. This one is the one that smells the best, and the rest are way too expensive, so I think it's going to be this one. So that stuff costed more than I expected. Um, the press on nails were not $6.99, they were $9.99. But, you know, having anxiety and being an introvert, you get up to the register and you buy it anyway because you don't want to put up a stake. If it was outrageously more money than I would have, but it was only $3. I mean, in the long run, $3 is a lot of money, but it's $3 I could part with. So um, now we're going to head over to Dunkin' Donuts. Actually, I'm going to put my order in first and grab something for myself there and then walk back. I get to cross this lovely highway. Wish me luck. I'm walking back to my place. I'm walking on the opposite side of the road this time because I didn't really want to cross that street again. So I'll cross and get back to my place. I'm drinking my Irish cream hot chocolate. 
which is good. But I got whipped cream on it. I don't normally get whipped cream because I think it's gross, but I usually also have longer to drink the cocoa. And if you know anything about Dunkin', you know how hot their drinks are. So I got the whipped cream in hopes of it cooling it down faster, and it's actually working. I'm passing by the house I love. It's not gonna be under an hour. It might be right at an hour. Um, because I spent a little bit extra time ready than I was planning. The Whoppers we're gonna have for dinner now will be much deserved and much needed because I had probably burned quite a lot of calories on this walk. I messaged Lynn while I was at Duncan. I should have messaged her before I left the apartment, but I told her, you know, this is me telling you I took a walk to the store just in case I don't make it back. You just never know, you know? So I just wanted to make sure somebody knew besides you guys, because you're not going to see this till after the fact, which if you're seeing this, it means I made it back, obviously, because otherwise it would not have gotten edited and posted. <laughs> um, so thanks for coming on the walk with me. And I think I'm going to montage the rest of the way back because I'm kind of out of breath and I just want to drink my nice hot chocolates. the walk because um my mom pulled into the apartment complex just as i was walking in to the complex as well so she picked me up and drove me the rest of the way to the building which is good because i was i was quite sore and i was slowing way down um but she's like what the heck are you doing crazy walking in the cold <laughs> yeah i am kind of crazy but i'm proud of myself for doing it i just posted on instagram the same thing like i'm proud of myself for doing it but i don't think i'll do it very often because i'm just not comfortable enough but, you know, small steps. I tackled a fear and I took a walk and now I feel invigorated. So yeah, let me do a very, very quick Reddit haul. You pretty much saw what I bought, but um, because my battery is dying. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna plug you guys in while we eat dinner and then we will continue the self-care stuff afterward. Prop you up on the books against the candle because I really don't wanna have to go get a tripod. So I finished my cocoa, delicious Irish cream. Got some, they call them munchkins now, donut holes. Just five of them, um, not the best flavors because they didn't have a lot, but they gave me two chocolate and two blueberry and only one glazed. So I'm kind of happy with that. And I got the mini Chips Ahoy Chewy, which I didn't know was a thing. And so I'm very happy about that because I love Chewy Chips Ahoy. I don't like the hard ones. I got the orange vanilla dreamsicle candle I showed you. I don't know whether I'll light this tonight. I kind of want to because I kind of want to switch up my candle for April, but it's not technically April yet. So I'm not sure whether it's valid. You know, can we can we pretend it's April 1st? I mean, it's only a couple of days away. <laughs> the nails, which as I mentioned, you can't really see. There we go. As I mentioned after I left Rite Aid, were more expensive than I thought they were. Um, especially for press-on nails, they're not even glue nails. Security tag on these things. Like, who's gonna steal nails? Like I said, it wasn't really looking for pink, but it is a spring color, so I guess it works. Um, they better be good for that price, otherwise this company is, it's Impress, not even really a company name. <laughs> but they'll be getting a note if they don't work, because that's expensive. And then this, which I was... Not planning on buying when I went, but I do like to get it and I'm all out. So I thought I would check to see if they had it. And it's Humphreys Witch Hazel. It's kind of hard to see because it's gold, but so you're supposed to spray it on your uh, face. But I don't like to spray things in my face. So usually I just spray a little on my fingers and then definitely, definitely love my Witch Hazel. So I'm glad they had it. And it was in the travel section, so it wasn't really that expensive. Usually I get the bigger bottle, 
um, and it's quite expensive, so I was glad to see they had a travel version of it. I always go into the travel section of stores because you never know what you're going to find, so I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I have some more of this, so this will last me a while because I don't use it that often. But yeah, that's my, my haul. Very small haul, very expensive haul. Uh, Dunkin was only $5 between the, the donut holes and the cocoa, but uh, Rite Aid was 26 which was much more than I was planning on spending. I was only spending on planning on spending 20 Um It was 24 before tax. Tax was the two whole bucks. But like I mentioned, when I got out of Rite Aid, you know, I don't... <laughs> my anxiety and stuff does not like me to put up a stink when I... Uh, things like that happen so all right take a picture for either thumbnail or just because and then I'm gonna plug you guys in I spent way too much time out in the living room with my mom because I am not going to be able to do everything that's on my list. But I am settling down for the night, as you can see, since I took my glasses off, to watch vlogs, rough cut my vlog because I haven't actually touched it yet, um, and do some more reading. I also wanted to do some writing, which I may still do depending on how late I stay up, but I'm just going to like I said, watch some vlogs, read some book, and relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed this self-care video that was not planned at whatsoever. And I hope you enjoyed seeing portions of my town as I went on my lovely walk. And I don't regret it, but I am quite sore, so it's safe to say I'm going to be taking some pills before I go to bed. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Plenty of fun things coming. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!